Welcome to the Connected Business video series. My name is Paul Taylor, editor of the Connected Business, and I'm talking today with Carolina Milanesi, who is uh, an analyst with Gartner and looks especially at the mobile marketplace and uh, sensors that we're seeing everywhere. So what, what do you actually see happening over the next few years in terms of sensors? So far, we've been worrying so much about consumer and mobility, consumer devices coming to enterprise, but we were thinking smartphones, tablets. What we are gonna worry about in a few years is actually things we don't see, is uh, sensors that are gonna be in the smartwatches, in the glasses, in sometimes tattoo form factor on your skin, your clothes, your shoes, able to pick up a lot of what we do, a lot of context of the things that we do, and use that information sometime at our benefit, sometime not. The, the opportunity is to know more about your environment, about your people, think about it from a marketing perspective, knowing more of my habits or the things that I do, when I do them, how I do them, what I enjoy buying, what I don't enjoy buying, which stores are going more often, what not. From a challenge perspective is that is more information that you need to keep secure. Is more information that you don't even know if you're collecting or not collecting. It's all very transparent. And it's also information that is very private. Think about uh, an organization like Garner that for instance will ask me to wear a Fitbit or a Nike Fuel to monitor my level of exercise so that my insurance premium can go up or down according to that. So you're adding a new layer, not just about security, but of privacy concerns. Do you think that uh, consumers are ready for that? I think consumers are ready for anything that is convenient and has a, a what's in it for me angle. So I think that on some of the things that we see, like the smart watches at the moment, they're very hot, but they are still pricey. They're not actually as smart as we think they could be. So there's a little bit of a sit and wait, but consumers absolutely are open to things like uh, the Fitbit or the Nike Fuel, things that help them manage part of their life and, and convenience is the main driver for adoption of these devices. Right. You mentioned smartphones, tablets earlier. Obviously, they're getting more sensors in and they know a lot more about their environment than they did a few years ago. Do you see that trend continuing? Absolutely. And, and it's the small things is a, a device that you use from your navigation, like um, a, a smartphone that you use as your main navigator in the, in the car, knowing when you've parked but you have not reached your destination but you still have 10 minutes walking distance from your, your final destination. So changing your navigation mode from car to pedestrian it's little things like that, but it's also going to be the next step of uh, being able to take the information that they have in the device, like your calendar, and adding other information about, for instance, traffic and knowing that you're going to be 15 minutes late for your meeting and uh, having a text message generated automatically to the person that you're meeting and say, I'm running 10 minutes late, without you having to do anything. Right, and that obviously would be a lot safer than picking up the smartphone in your car and illegally sending Send a text. It. Absolutely. Right. You mentioned the idea of tattoos on the skin being uh, uh, sensorized, if you like. How would that work? Um, smart fabrics is something that we've been talking about for a few years and is still a long way away. But it's a question again of having um, almost skin implants. If you think about your dog being microchipped, yeah. you're taking that to the next level. And it, th there are people that are toying with the idea of having a keyboard on your arm that only comes up when, when you need it. So it's not necessarily something that you can see, but the ability with your fingers to touch some uh, touch points and generate a response on your device. That sounds like Star Trek or the Jetsons or whatever, but we're really that, we're not that far away from things like that potentially being reality. Absolutely, I mean, the technology is already there. It, the question is obviously making it mass market and so taking it to a price point that we can all afford. Carolina, thank you very much. A indeed. pleasure.